first jump for kojipop.com where we are playing roundabout today this was um previously on pc and xbox one and now is on ps4 and i think coming to vita as well i am reliably informed uh which means you can play it on almost any box of choice that you like hey do you like donuts in driving games do you like donuts in games? I've got a donut on this car, which is constantly doing donuts. Whoa! Uh, see, Roundabout is weird. Um, it's basically the best way to describe it is a uh, kind of crazy taxi meets uh, Kuda 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 Nin. If you ever played those games on the GameCube, I know you have. Probably haven't, have you? Uh, let's do a thing I've done before so you can get an idea of what it's like. Oh, it's got FMV as we're just about to find out. So you've got uh, little FMV interstitials, all of which are quite funny and amusing. And the idea is, when you're actually driving, is you got to drive places. Um, duh. And uh, the faster you get there and the more coins you pick up, uh, the more money you get. And then you can spend things on better cars and, well, no, same cars, but upgrades to the car and whatnot. Uh, um, the twist is, yes, that the... The car is constantly spinning round and around and around in the manner of kudu 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 in. I can hit the blue tires to change the direction of the rotation here. And um, because of that, it gets tricky to navigate around things. See? Um, because if you hit things about three or four times, uh, then your car just blows up. Um, Wow, okay, they don't make them like they used to. Um, and that's basically about it. I'm smashing letterboxes at the moment. I can go faster, or I can, yeah, I can go faster with the triggers. Uh, and there's also a special ability that you hit with square. Let's get that one, that one there. Get that one and that one. Yeah, well, I'm on fire a bit. I'm on fire a bit. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, checkpoint's pretty, pretty good, pretty fair. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go. So this is, ah, uh, the maneuverings are, are where, yes, Kura 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 in comes in. That was a puzzle game. It wasn't about driving cars at all. Um, but it was about guiding this sort of blue line uh, through mazes and, and whatnot and getting penalties for... Uh, doing badly and I don't know uh, that kind of thing and uh, it was a lot of fun on on the old GameCube there um, and I think probably because it was slightly more abstract and uh, this having cars and stuff I don't know I'm not exactly sure whether because we're in an open world setting I'm not 100% convinced of, of the setting behind everything um, where it's less designed, you know what I mean, than uh, than a puzzle game, and uh, you kind of have to get used to the idea that this is kind of a puzzle game. Um, but I'm going to pick up Beth and continue the story here. Beth has a thing for her. Um, she never. Um, Talks. That's the a silent protagonist um, kind of thing, and just uh, yeah, the facial expressions are, are pretty awesome. Um, so there's little goals, as uh, you might have seen just when I finished that last mission. There, um, you get. Mm, um, crap. 
you uh, you get little check marks for um, collecting all the coins in the stage, for not hitting anything, for beating the stage at a certain time. Uh, never been able to get all of them um, because evidently I suck, uh, as evidenced by all the collateral damage that's that's going on here. Um, nobody seems to mind though that you're butchering all these people, and uh, they have kind of. Great, uh, great voice samples. One of the uh, ones that comes up recently is not again. As you come careening through. Yeah, right, so down. Uh, this kind of helps a little bit, but not that much. The um, the slowing down time thing. I'm trying to get these coins. I don't know. I think unless. Um, yeah, you know, one thing that's good that's quite nice is you, you can die as much as you want. Um, and uh, there's there's not much in the way of penalties for, for doing badly because the game is pretty difficult uh, just by its very nature. Um, so you can take it fairly fairly casually unless you're trying to get all the checkpoint all the sort of um, checklist items on a particular stage, and then it's going to require an awful lot of uh, crap of replaying. It's just this very section here is going to take a lot of replaying. Dash, dash, slow down. Cool. And then the slow down thing slows down the music as well, which is nice. Okay, okay, go that, go that, right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Let's go to the park and relax. Nuts. It seems to be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit inconsistent in in where it does put checkpoints. You know, um, evidently those circular checkpointy looking things that you drive through are not necessarily checkpoints. Um, I can buy the whole mall for fifteen dollars. Ching! Oh, fourteen sixty-nine. Crap! I have to get back here. Um, yeah, there's, there's some weird, uh, property stuff in this game, they, you know, it's, it's like arbitrarily thrown in open world elements, but, like, you can, uh, buy property, and the property earns you cash, uh, every now and again that just, you know, plonks into your score or your account or whatever, which is weird, um, Yay! There's a duck. There's another one. So yes, there's the sort of um, slightly over enthusiastic love interest going on uh, in this game, uh, and so it's it's not exactly sure at this point whether you're reciprocating that, whether you're playing for the same team or not. Um, uh, there's also a rival limousine driver that's that's out and and after your turf. There's a blue star over there, which is a challenge. So let's see if we can. Check that out. Join. Oh my car. So you get uh, you get a few uh, extra little things, upgrades um, for fulfilling certain conditions, which I haven't done yet. Uh, so I've still got the slowing down time. That's my only upgrade. Uh, but you have one upgrade at a time anyway. So, oh crap! I can't even get to where I'm going. Um. So yeah, the, the blue stars are like little mini-game challenge things. There's one over there where you've got to bounce a football on top of your roof. Uh, but let's check out this new one. If I can, if I can get there. That's oh, miles away. Miles away. Oh, no, I can't buy a cinema. No. Um. Oh, okay. That put me fairly close. 
Nha Nuts Yeah, it's, it's like, um, I don't know, sometimes it is just the, <laughs> the simplest parts that, that get you. Um, and it kind of plays on your sen natural sense of impatience, my natural sense of impatience. Um, and that you want to get somewhere quickly, but it's just a lot of it seems to be just waiting it out and making sure it aligned. Stop the Great Hunt Challenge. Uh, it's splendiferous, my dear turning pal. This area is perfect for Maximilian Development's next project. Do be a friend and find a good place to break ground, would you? The Great Hunt. Okay, let's see how well we do here. Find hidden areas before time runs out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. never good at this kind of thing. So, yeah, zero. <laughs> Crap. Oh, well. So where are you going? Find a rank? I don't have one. Oh, well. Never mind. Uh, let's let's do one more mission before we, uh, before we get out of here. Um, it's kind of, yeah, I think, like, if you've seen this already, you know, it, if you've... You know, I think, like, you've probably made up your mind already um, without me telling you. Uh, whether you like, <laughs> whether, you're, uh, whether this game is for you or not, um, very kind of self-explanatory. Um, strangely enough, for a game featuring a revolving limousine, you'd think that requires a little bit more explanation. But I mean, it it wears its heart on its sleeve, I guess. Um, okay. Yep, Ranger Stacy. Oh my goodness, you come at just the right time. Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight roping hover eagle. I love that stock. Nature footage. That's that's awesome. Follow that eagle. Oh no. That eagle's totally gonna get away. Oh, it slows down for you. Okay. Crap. Mine, 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 mine. Okay. I feel it might have been it might be easier if you could sort of change direction yourself of the, the spin. Um rather than just hunting for trees. Murder these people. What? Okay, yeah, that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Excellent. Oh no! Um, but I suppose if I could repeatedly change direction of my spin, then yeah, you could effectively drive forward the whole time. I dare say there's um, amazing high-level roundabout play uh, going on somewhere. Um, so then you're not going to find it here anyway. Okay, there we go. I think that does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Giorgio. The Parks Department and Nature. Thanks. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's it. Uh, really, it's the kind of uh, humor that probably wears thin after about 
the length of this kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty funny and, and fresh and, and uh, interesting, especially if you haven't played uh, Kudu Kudu. Um, but uh, yeah, it might be worth checking out. It's on uh, PS4 right now, also PC, um, Vita soon, and Xbox One, and it doesn't cost very much. So there you go. Chris John for Thanks for watching. Bye.